Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the Catholic Teacher Daily Message. My name is Jonathan Doyle. Thank you for stopping by. Sincerely, it is good to have you here. Uh, please make sure you've subscribed. Please grab yourself free access to 10 weeks of the Going Deeper Catholic Teacher Formation Program. There's a link here. 10 weeks. It's like a Netflix binge, but holy. You're just going to be... You're just going to be stuck in your pyjamas watching this for 10 weeks. Maybe. Maybe not. Today, we have a great quote from the inimitable, one of my favourite words. I like that word, inimitable, incapable of imitation. Inimitable. The inimitable Catholic writer Evelyn Waugh, who for many years I thought was a woman, but is not. Evelyn, apparently, at that time in history, was a male name too. So let's jump into this. It's a little controversial here, this quote from old Evelyn. The first part, you're going to go, what? But we're going to land this plane as we always do. Let's do it. The trouble with modern education is you never know how ignorant people are. With anyone over 50, you can be fairly confident what's been taught and what's been left out. But these young people have such an intelligent, knowledgeable surface, and then the crust suddenly breaks, and you look down into depths of confusion you didn't know existed. All right, this is interesting. I think you will agree with me that many of our young people, particularly by high school, can really have an air of sophistication around their worldview. Now, let me balance this. Yes, it's true. Many of them have access to information and knowledge about the world that was historically un that is, is historically unprecedented, right? So when I was in high school, you had newspapers, you had TV news, you had radio, but, of course, kids now are swimming in a huge sea of information, data, and news. So they can easily have an air of sophistication, particularly around topical things like big issues on culture, environment, finance, war, social issues, right? You get that. You hear it. They can be, some of them can be very opinionated, can be quite didactic and, uh, you know, really firm in their opinions. But what war is reminding us here is that real education the full forming of the human person in the Catholic educational tradition in terms of uh, integral education, the formation of the person in the image of Christ, that's a depth task. That's something that takes place over a long period of time. Moral formation, formation in the virtues, formation in the classics, reading the great books, listening to the greatest music, understanding some of the greatest architecture and art in history, this depth formation, and including things like the really beautiful Catholic understanding of what it means to be human, the reality of sin. I think for a significant number of young people, there's a kind of utilitarian utopianism, this kind of human perfectibility that really the problems in the world are because we just haven't got the right system yet. And if we just get the right system and the right technology, then we're going to fix all the problems. You know, if you're a formed Catholic, you, you, you know this is a post-lapsarian world. We're always going to have sin. We are always going to have brokenness. We're always going to have greed. We're always going to have the poor. Jesus said that himself. We're always going to have conflict. It doesn't mean we don't try to ameliorate them and bring Christ into all of those circumstances. But utopianism is highly problematic. I mean, it's really what, you know, I guess Marxist scientific materialism is all about, that, the, that you can just perfect things by perfecting the system. You, you, you don't. You perfect things by Christ. <laughs> it's kind of. It's kind of. If that's not true, then there isn't a Catholic faith. There's no need for sacraments. There's no need for prayer. Confess. None of it. So the purpose of today's message is to remind you that underneath all the confidence and occasional bluster of young people, there's a fragility and an ignorance there that speaks to the very heart of the mission and the prophetic mission of Catholic education. That you are to go into that void of ignorance, and I don't mean this pejoratively, I don't mean this with any arrogance, or we're just going to wade in there and fix these ignorant kids. It's not that. It's a missionary sense. It's a sense of, I want to bring you a full education. I want to help you understand the beauty of the cosmos, the joy of music, why some things are true and good and beautiful, and why some things are dark, evil, and wicked. So when that, as Evelyn Moore sort of suggests, is that crust breaks and you look into these depths and you go, whoa, you know a little bit about these topical things, but you don't know a lot about love. You don't know a lot about joy. You don't know a lot about, you know, 
the incarnational nature of reality and that the presence of Christ is shot through all things and, and we can know what is true and what is beautiful and what is good. So I just want to say you should have some confidence in that. You should have a sense of like, this is an incredible thing that you do. It's an incredible thing that you do. All right, that's it. Please make sure you have subscribed. Grab yourself a free copy or free access to Going Deeper. There's a link here. My name's Jonathan Doyle, and I will have another message for you tomorrow.